Brittany Jones. Yes. Thank you. The marijuana project takes up an entire building at the University of Mississippi in Oxford. The secured lab is hidden on campus. And does the government stop you from producing an overwhelming amount too much? Well, you, do, you can't really produce at your leisure. You produce what the government asks us to produce. Once the plant is finished growing, the team breaks it down for research. We are working under the National Institute on Drug Abuse, and therefore there is a lot more interest in doing drug abuse research. But with set dosages prescribed by doctors, Dr. Mamoun El Soli says the plant can be a powerful cure. NIDA works with the National Institute of Health. This is nothing but, but leaves and buds. NIH says marijuana has the potential to safely treat pain, nausea, epilepsy, obesity, addiction, and autoimmune disorders. The FDA already approved medication with THC to help with cancer and AIDS patients. Industry was shy from looking into that aspect because it's marijuana. And marijuana was a bad name. And so it's got a stigma to it, so they don't want to develop it. Sure. And, and, and this day, to be honest with you, it's even getting worse because there's no regulation. And then why would I, as a, as a CEO of a, of a big pharmaceutical company, mm -hmm. try to develop marijuana as a drug when everybody else is growing it? Researchers here experiment with different levels of CBD and THC. I'm told CBD can be used for medication. THC will provide the high. They also studied street drugs, but the feds recently shut that program down. The stuff that they're starting to grow now, very, very dangerous? Uh, yes, it has such a high content of THC. The, 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 the good thing about this plant is you, you, don't really, you can't really ingest too much to kill you. Because before you get to the point where it will kill you, you pass out. Dr. El Soli says he's never seen a death from marijuana in his triple decade career. So far, eight states legalized marijuana. Mississippi decriminalized small amounts in 1978. What do you think the, the problems that we'll begin to see after uh, legalization? The problems are going to be a long-term problems. You're going to see the young generation being stoned and being later on so lack of motivation to do things. He wants customers who shop at dispensaries to know the marijuana products can be unsafe. I was talking about making a drug like marijuana and putting it on the market, putting it in the dispensaries mm -hmm. and claiming you know specific uses but there is no scientific data to support the use of that particular material that's in the dispensary. Why not? because they didn't generate the data. They don't have data. All they're interested in is to grow, harvest, put it there, sell it, get a lot of money. It's hard to apply for the federally approved grant to grow this plant. It costs millions of dollars to construct a farm like this one at Old Miss. But the DEA says they will work with more growers to expand the supply and variety of marijuana for research.